this is the Penta Cube from Oryx Secure Whatever Cube come from Jinx. Well, just like in Arcane, we're gonna do some explosions today. Let's explode and speed. What the? F That's going to be awesome. So hit the like button and subscribe for more. Let's go. How to join Penta Explode? You know, I always tell people about getting refresh and that's something that we need okay we need first things first the focal point of an explosion is always brighter you can see here and we can see here and the more far away the less strong it is so it's like bah! and it's like Ding! another thing that we need to notice there's always small objects flying away from it we can see it here, we can see it here, we can see all of that stuff flying away from it, and here, and you can see a lot of blur, movement blur, you can see that everything's like <laughs> and also the same happening here, but in a more cartoonistic way, like here, <laughs> Remember, ask yourself, are you going to a more cartoonistic approach? Are you going to a more semi-realistic, realistic approach? You need to have your objective in mind before you start. There are like the atomic thing, explosion that gets like a mushroom. I'm doing the simple format first, before I start doing the taste and everything, okay? There is the one that go like a gigantic tree or mushroom. And then got the little line here. Are there explosions that just go like to all sides? Like you find in comics, you know? This type of explosion is, is pretty good if you want to just get attention or just show even more contrast to people. It's a really good one for that. This one is for like you're seeing from far away a gigantic explosion. This one you're seeing like BOOM! You ever seen like a comic? And here in these two cases, you can see there it was a gigantic explosion that we don't even see the format exactly. If I try to see the silhouette of this one, I cannot see it clearly, but we can for sure see the color of it. And the main focal point. We can get the focal point right here. Yep, right here. And the other type of explosion. That's happening here is the more cartoonistic way. You can just go the circle, 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 circle. You raise a little part, do stuff flying away from it. You raise a little part, do stuff flying away from it. Think of the big picture and then you break down with smaller details. But remember, number one, it can be a more cartoonistic or realistic. Choose it. Number two, it can be something that is coming, like, going up all the way, like, you see, you're seeing far away, or it can be like a small kaboom comic thing. Or it can also be a mix of both. Why not? It does not got a special format that everybody's going to follow. No, 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 you can choose to apply a little bit of cartoonistic ways in the middle and do not forget there is always, always, always going to be projectiles, objects, stuff flying away from it. Show movement, show the power of that. And when we go into colors, you're gonna see that middle, brighter, going far away, gets more into red tones, orange tones and everything. And remember, you can always apply a good blur of that. Champs, something important. You cannot just go and do an explosion in the middle of a white blank canvas because you may lose the the perception of what is too bright, what is too dark, and if it's going well with the ambient. So that's why an explosion source of light is to be in a darker place. I don't know which darker place, but you create a darker place that the explosion go to shine. I 
attention right now if you have trouble paying, okay? Paying. Do you remember the reference that I just choose? Remember the reference that you just choose? I remember, do you? So yeah, we are going to pick the colors from that and use as a base. No, you don't need to copy it exactly as how it is, but you can use it as a base to guide you. Now we're gonna remove a little bit of the liner just by picking the color, the darkest color in our explosion, and applying it into the line art. Right now, what I'm doing is just putting, do you see this beautiful line art that is just a sketch? Yeah, I'm going to hold Ctrl and out. Between two layers, psh, what happened? What happened? What happened right here? All of my line art, all of my sketch can only appear right now inside of the base color. Now it only appears inside. There is no simple route. Observation is you every single day training your eyes to look at something and ask yourself, what the freak is happening here? I don't get it, but I'm gonna keep looking part by part until I understand that. And also I'm going to apply that in my drawing because I know that not only what is the name of that fear is important, but I also understand that working with my muscle memory is important. Focus on the movement. You see that I'm not focusing like is this on the right direction, right, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm just thinking like, yeah, yeah. You are showing the motion that I want. You watch the tutorial. See here, I'm doing the C format, remember? Coming from the borders and getting getting into the middle, the middle part, the one that shines the most, and it's in the side. I'm also doing a little trembling with my hand because it helps us to give that effect of wow she did texture she's, she's so professional she did texture <laughs> she's so professional and remember i'm changing i'm i'm changing the colors that i'm using i'm going through red into bright yellow and the passage between that got orange got orange into red got orange into yellow do a great gradient those things it's something that you must know if you want to improve your art okay and i'm here to give you the tip for you to improve
explosion is all about being degraded. Dark, dark place and go soft, 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 soft. Dark, strong, dark, strong, dark with a contrast between a light at its side and dark, 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 dark. Bright, dark, 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 getting brighter. Contrast between bright and dark and then gradient getting brighter. We are going to render, look at me, render the details and also add effects. And I can already give you a spoiler, the effects we're gonna use or at least try. Remember, I always recommend you trying different effects. It's not like a rule, oh, I always use color, dodge, color, dodge, color. No, no, no. Sometimes it can be soft light, sometimes it can be overlay. So we're gonna try overlay, soft light, screen and color dodge. Those four, okay? In this next step but first we're going to render and since i have already done the details and it's looking like an amazing explosion for you to learn with it and apply your art i think we can already go into my favorite too call it smudge 2 ah! let's go into that This explosion is on fire! <laughs> you get it? This explosion is on fire? Important part right now. We have already rendered it more with Smudge 2, changing its rates of strength, making it stronger or not that strong. We have already done more details, we have already added our heart into it. And now we're going to the effects, guys. Effects! Like right now! Everything's on effects right now! 
Okay, remember what I said? I'm going just to try one by one with inner peace inside of my heart. Yes, that's what we're going to do. enjoyed why not share with a friend because we know there's people that maybe they cannot pay in an art class with a course or anything why not share with that people share in a group and why not try out our playlist in our channel full of more than 50 50 full art tutorials yes we have that for you go there and watch it for more because this is going to make you grow in your art journey you're awesome champ and i'll see you in the next one bye bye